LibBWF is an open source library used for making tools that create, convert, read, and verify NCASE evidence image files. The NCASE evidence image file format is used for the storage of forensic disk images and associated metadata by the NCASE forensic software product created by Guidance Software. NCASE is a closed proprietary format, but the LibEWF tools make it possible to work with NCASE files outside of the NCASE forensic software. In this demo, we will have a brief look at four of the most useful tools distributed in the LibEWF library in Kali Linux. In this demo, we will see the operation of the LibEWF tools EWF Acquire for acquiring media storage device images and converting raw images to in-case image files, EWF Info for displaying information about in-case image files, EWF Verify for verifying the error checking features of NCASE image files, and EWF Export for converting NCASE evidence files to RAW files suitable for burning to storage media. First, let's have a look at how to use EWF Acquire to acquire a forensic image and save it as an NCASE evidence image file. To start acquiring, specify the name of the output target file and the device you want to acquire the image from. And now we see the interactive part of EWF Acquire. From here we will need to answer a few questions before the actual image acquisition operation can begin. Let's fill in the metadata that's embedded in the file. From this point, we can just hit return and accept all of the default values. Notice all the different evidence file formats supported. Included here are the very commonly used NCASE version 6 format and the newer NCASE version 7 evidence file format. All of these file formats are all based on the original expert witness file format. If selected, the Wipe Sectors option can cause EWF Acquire to write a sector containing zero byte values to the image if a read error is encountered with the same sector on the device being acquired. This is the behavior used by the NCASE forensic software. Your alternatives are to have EWF Acquire try to read what data it can from the bad sector or attempt to recover the sector's data using other tools before acquiring its image. Now EWF Acquire gives us the opportunity to cancel out of performing the imaging acquisition, or acquiry, as the author of LibEWF refers to it. Well, this image acquisition proceeded very quickly and successfully with no errors. Now, you don't need to go through that lengthy interactive Q&A every time you want to acquire an image using EWF Acquire. All of those answers can be given ahead of time on the command line. If you only want to supply the meta information and accept all of the other defaults, you could use this command line. Notice the U flag after the command line name. That tells EWF Acquire to run in non-interactive mode. When present, EWF Acquire will take whatever values you give it on the command line and use default values for the rest. Note the use of double quotes around the string values. Single quotes work in the bash shell too. Now, let's use EWF Info to have a look at the NCASE image file we just acquired. EWF Info shows us all of the NCASE metadata that are input parameters to EWF Acquire and some additional information EWF Acquire collected from the device being imaged. We also see the MD5 hash value of the image data and that no data compression was used. Raw image files acquired using DD or DDFLDD or DC3DD can be converted to the NCASE image format using EWF Acquire by giving it the raw file as the source to acquire from. Now let's use EWinfo to have a look at the NCASE image file we just converted. Converting files from the NCASE format and other forensic formats is performed using the EWF export tool. Using EWF export, you can convert NCASE to RAW, eight different versions of the NCASE format, and several other forensic file formats too. 
EWF export has a lot of options, but the ones we will use the most is F for selecting the output format and T for selecting the target file. This command line will convert an in-case file to a raw file with the same name and a .raw extension. Now we get an interactive prompt wanting a few other pieces of information. We can accept all of the defaults. And we see the resulting file. If you don't want the interactive prompting, use the U flag to have EWF export ex automatically accept all defaults. Finally, if you suspect that an end case file is corrupt or damaged, you can check it using the EWF Verify tool. We can see by the displayed results the verification of each file block and the entire file was a success. In this demo, we saw EWF Acquire acquire an image from a media storage device and save it as an NCASE evidence file. EWF Acquire convert a raw image file to an NCASE file. EWF Info display information about NCASE files. EWF Export convert an NCASE image file to a raw image file. And EWF Verify verify the integrity of an NCASE image file.